This game is so... I can't live to Ascension even with three three-star behemoths. I can't beat these players. It's Kane, Kane, and Ash, the two best builds in the game. Easy third. I'd have to win like three fights in a row. I don't think I'm ever getting third here unless like, unless the looting three happens to be a smurf. And I don't even think I'm gonna hit it. Like what, you think I'm just gonna make two Alunas appear in this orb? All right, I got like two rolls. Oh wait, what the hell? Wait, 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 wait. Suddenly I think it's possible. Our wills align. My destination is clear. No prison can hold me. Our wills align. Forget the past. It only clouds the future. That was a very frustrating game. I had like three games today where I was forced to play Ash or Kane. I rolled down while being contested. I didn't hit and then I lost. Then I had other games where I played other builds and then I lost the players who forced Ash or Kane and hit. It's like a damn if you do, damn if you don't kind of thing. I pray that the balance next patch will be better. I would just love to play my uncontested fate at every game, but I have not been able to hit it today. Hello, Ryuk is lame. Thanks for the prime. That's not nice. Ryuk could be watching. This story is not yet finished. I no one is promised tomorrow. The only moves that augments are random rounds. It's hard to play Econ. You usually almost always want to play win streak here. Pray I got a playable early game board. Just hit like an Ari and it's pretty strong. One Ari, one Yasuo. Thrash! Wait, it was fated to be. This world needs hope. Oh, I didn't hold the Cho'Gath pair. That's not bad. No, I didn't hold the Cho'Gath pair. I got punished. Okay, that's my fault. If I held Cho'Gath pair, the moment I saw Thresh, I should have held Cho'Gath pair. So that was my bad. Maybe Cho'Gath will not be offended and he'll come back. Oh yeah, interesting. Augments on two consecutive rounds. Wait, he loves me! He came back! Good boy, good boy! Can it still be Dryad? No. Well, I mean, I could get mulched into Dryad's spat, but most likely no. I am down to just play Faded. I'm, I'm very good at Faded, and it's very uncontested. Although, it's gaining popularity recently because of China. Well, not specifically China, just one Chinese guy who is really good at Faded, and everybody's trying to copy him. There's a 2000 LP player in China who um, hit 2000 LP playing Faded only. And he's too good at it, so now everyone's copying him. So now I can't play Faded. Damn you, that one guy in China! Okay, if I do this, I can make Econ and I get Heavenly. But if I do this, I play the stronger board. Let's see what my matchups are. Weak. Hmm. I think I knew it. Sorry, Cho'Gath. It makes Econ, and then it gives me a Synergy, which is actually pretty solid. I think it's actually stronger. Yeah, right after you came back too, it's a little fucked. Whoa, what a dodge from Kindred. It didn't matter, but Pong. Faded is really straightforward, isn't it? So what did the guy do that's so special? Uh, he plays two Syndras. He plays five Faded instead of seven. He doesn't go for Faded Crest. 
and then he placed four Arcanists and then two Syndras. I guarantee you, nobody else did that until he did it. Or at least, like, nobody intentionally, like, did it. You know what I mean? Give me this Archangels. Archangels is so good here. Have you had success trying that board out? Oh, wait, hang on. Um, dude, Econ Augments are so stupid. Like, it's sorry, it's too late to benefit from Econ. No. No, I don't want any Econ Augments, man. It's such a, it's such a troll. No, stop giving it. It's, it's all Econ Augments that feel different. It's so frustrating. Like, I wish they would just disable Econ Augments on the Lily. Like, if you get Econ Augments late, you've already missed out. What the fuck? Galio? No, I, I definitely can't play it. That's so frustrating, man. I just got like three Econ Augments and Built Different when I already have a board. Like, Built Different would've been good if I didn't already set up a board that had Synergy. Like, you can be offered pumping up and it's just like, well, it's too late, right? Like, I don't want pumping up anymore. I wanted it on 2 1 so I could start like playing for a loose streak and building up into it. I don't think Heretaker's favor works the way I want it to. Yes. Yeah, I'm curious if Caretaker's favor would go back in time and give me a, an anvil. I'm not sure if that's how it would work. Okay, at least I got a decent combat augment. On, on the Lilia. You always want combat augments because, again, it's too late for Econ. Unless you get it really early. If you get, like, Slammin' Plus on Stage 2, uh, or Stage 3, it's actually pretty good. Oh, print one more gold, I make Econ. Print one more gold, I make Econ. Sorry. I find it really weird that when you buy Aphelios, he moans. Does anyone else find that really weird? You have now reached 100 plus today. Spat. Oh. Stand back. Big strong Nico coming through. Ah, damn it. Spirits are calling. He can't speak, so what else can he do? He could go, woo! Like, yo hoo I got bought! Our wills align. Okay, what if I put a cloak on this Yasuo and a glove on this Kindred? I'm actually surprised I'm losing this. I feel like 5 Faded should just win, right? Isn't 5 Faded crazy? Uh-oh. Wait, 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 maybe, maybe, maybe. Nice. Okay, I'm definitely leveling for Kha'Zix. I need Reaper. Pew, 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 pew. This story oh. is not yet finished. Okay. It, it probably won't matter, but I was not supposed to buy that Yasuo until later. If I lose because my Kindred has 1% less attack speed during this fight, I take full responsibility. Yeah, there's like a tiny chance that this is what happens. But like, no way, right? Oh, let me stand next to my kindred so I can immediately grab the first gold tree prince. Okay. Um, listen guys, I've had a bad day. Could somebody arrange for a Syndra in my We are made by our choices. going to be playing Faded anymore. I can just play around this Azir and use Faded as a tank trait. He's actually pretty good at Gambler's Blade. As 
as you wish. So maybe I'll drop down to two faded or three faded and then play a. I, I want to play an Orn really badly. Uh, probably want a spark here. Yeah, you get a spark. Okay, that's actually a really scary situation because I wanted Rod first, but Bow second. I could I could have locked in the Bow, but I was like, oh, but that Rod's right there. I don't think you saw the Spark yet. If I end up playing Ash, I actually do want um. Quincy's. Hopefully I don't lose because of a spark diff. The spark is actually kind of a big deal though. It makes me, it, most of my magic, my, most of my damage is magic right now. Oh, two gold. Okay, I feel like I always want Aegis or something really tanky. Uh, lock it. Lockett or Marty? I think I'm fine with Lockett. I tend to clump my front line anyway. Oh wait, Cleaver is actually kind of interesting. Wait, Cleaver is actually very interesting. Yeah, because I'm going to be playing both AD and AP most likely. So I think Cleaver is actually solid. And you throw it on Kindred, who will hit the whole board. But yeah, that way I can play Ash or I can play Syndra, whichever one I hit. That's interesting. I hope this series does not get to my back line. But yeah, Kindle just like shred the whole team. It's really satisfying. Nice. All right, let's do it. Let's try to pivot out of faded into a, a zero game. Um. So what am I gonna do? Well, you're gonna drop like most of the faded units. Maybe there's room for like this, but probably not. I kind of like that Kindred as Dryad, but uh, I would say I want Orn, we want Ash, the standard Ash stuff, so Kog'Maw, Lux, or Amumu. Oh, if I hit a bunch of Cinders, I could actually sell this to Zero. If you build Spark, does it stack? No, it doesn't stack with Cleaver. I really want a bow here. No one is promised tomorrow. Oh shit, okay. All right, do a flex roll down. Such potential. All who run are mine. I will not hold back. Why not fast nine? No, you need to roll a little bit here. But I need uh, I need some time to figure out what I'm exactly playing. I'm pretty close to assembling the uh, standard Ash Guard. I need one Orn, and I think I'm good. One Orn, I think I'm good for nine. I channeled the spirit. Okay, I think this is good enough to go nine. It's not the Ash board, but I'm just playing random flex bullshit to try to go nine. This looks stable enough. But yeah, if you don't roll here, I, I've had a lot of games where I'm like, oh, I'm level eight, 50 gold. Why don't I just like not roll and go nine? And I'll tell you what happens every time. I stack a bunch of rounds. I go down to like 50 health from 100. And then I roll down at nine, hit like one stars of legendaries and then die. Like that's actually what happens. It's, it's so sad. You like, it takes a lot of money at nine to hit. You need to like get a lot of your, uh, your four costs and like one star five costs out of the way at eight. Otherwise you bleed too much. You need like 70 gold, I'm not even kidding. You need like 70 gold at nine to hit. Okay, I mean, I'm down to play like some sort of weird Azir game. 
But yeah, my Azir actually can cast. Normally, Azir is not a very good uh, solo carry because he doesn't cast often enough, but here, actually looks pretty good. And if I hit Lily too, I'm down to three item her. In the name of Flex Gameplay. I might not even play Ash. I could just play like Azir Endgame, right? Like who says I have to play uh, Ash here? If Azir can do it all, and also my items are very, very AP heavy. Uh, I'm like super down for, oh, I was gonna say I'm super down for that TG. Oh, there's something else I'm super down for. Yes. Okay, this actually looks really good. I know I should talk Lily earlier saying like if you if you itemize Lily too, you're trolling. But here, since I don't have Ash and I have all AP items, it actually sounds correct. Saya too. Yeah, I think Lily will actually do some stuff some work here with poor invoker. I don't need this Ash or Lux. I'm my own man. I'll figure it out. Cossack's encounter. Oh. Oh, I'm already on a win streak. Imagine clicking loose streak here. I'll just, I'll give me three gold. I will not hold back. This lobby looks, on average, pretty weak. I feel like a lot of people did not hit. Except for this guy. This guy hit. How do you beat Zaya 2? Level 8, 50 gold, Zaya 2. What the fuck? Level 8, 50 gold, Zaya 2. This guy looks a little scary, but he doesn't have Ash 2. Oh, wait. If I take one of his two lives here, it's huge. Oh, great flex game. Um, I can sell... Okay, I know what to do, I know what to do. So, late game, I need to throw in uh, Orn over Thresh, and then maybe a random Lissandra. There's like not much else to do late game, right? Yeah, not much else to do. Oh, actually, uh, actually Ash, right? Force and Sniper. Or you could throw in, you could also throw in Set over Amumu. I don't know, there's a lot of options. It's way better for Cleaver than Lilia. Well, Lilia is Invoker, and I wanna keep four Invoker. But you could also kind of do a Dragon Lord pivot where you sell Kog'Maw, uh, play Janna and then play Dragon Lords. I don't think it's the right play though, because I already got Mythic going on. Some call me evil. Shall I Random Syndra? Right? Nah, it's not a Syndra game. Wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. Uh... Wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. I actually do need one faded unit then. Or you can drop Thresh for- No, you should still drop Thresh for Orin. Oh dang, I lost. Okay, I have to luck. Okay, yeah, I didn't, I didn't expect to lose there. I thought I was strong. Oh, I just lost four attack speed. Yeah, it's so probably just drop a Mumu and then play... Maybe Aphilios? Aphilios would complete a synergy. How important is it? I don't know. Alright, oh, maybe Kindred actually. Because <laughs> she would give Dryad, that's funny. I want to get Dryad from Orn though. What if you go 10? I I don't think you can go 10 while you have a 0-1. You'll take too much damage on the way. Like, I'm gonna bleed like 20 HP per round until I like, get a good board. Uh, okay, balanced budget actually would get me to 10. I don't think it's Capricious Forge. I don't think it's Den United either. I don't have that many synergies. 
I think it's actually a balanced budget. And just like try to hit my board. Fate hunts you today. Spirit, reveal our way. This is actually a good board. What the hell? The last time I ate a plant was never. Hmm. Okay, I, I have to keep donkey rolling until I get a zero two or Udo two. Also, I still need Annie too. The Zazir is not able to pull his weight anymore. He needs to be two start. This random set is actually pretty good. And he like omnivamps himself. Okay, I'm pretty sure you should not be playing Faded here. Pretty sure there's something better. But I need to like figure out, uh, find pieces. Yeah, pretty sure Fade's a bit of a bait here. Sell these two, play Orn plus one. Okay, I was thinking about Arcanist Spat, but it would require like a specific play. Okay. Uh, pretty sure you just keep rolling here. Reveal our way. And you just try to uh, hit something. I don't think it's Ash. The spirits I feel closest to. The last time I ate a plant was never. I feel like Ash is the way. I don't have items for Ash. You, you definitely need Gwinsu's and like 280 items for Ash to be good. Like she's really good when you put, build around her, but I can't build around her. I'm pretty sure you just have to play around this Azir, but not hitting the Azir is really rough. I'm literally taking balanced budget plus just so I can try to hit it. Okay, this Lily kind of fucking. She got the god angle. All right, I'm down to just play for a second. So playing for a second means donkey rolling every single round, hitting whatever upgrades you can. Man, no Azir's. I got the Azir at seven and that's it. But I've got the HP to play for a second. Happy for a second, yeah, happy to play for a second. My units are pretty contested besides Azir. Oh yeah, another porcelain player? Okay, I'm, I'm angled perfectly to kill his Ash. Look, do you see his Ash? She gonna die, she gonna die today. Come on, Lilia. Snipe the ash, snipe the ash. Oh, actually, oh my god. Finish the job. Do it. Kill him. Now kill her. Nice. Okay, I'm in a really good spot to play for a second. I can also maybe think about going 10, but going 10 involves sacking three rounds just to play like one more legendary, which I don't feel like is worth it. Like, pretty sure two star Azir is everything here. <laughs> two star Azir is everything. I'm, it's crazy that I can't hit it. I just roll it down for two star Azir and two star Udir. Make my board a lot stronger. Is ever six invoker? No, you have to drop too much. Trying to paint on water. All right, Albert, you can do this. Legends are told in word and deed. I held the greatest blessing. We are made by our choices. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! I need to rebuild Nautilus and TG this guy. I can't see his health bars. Am I winning? Anyone know? Oh, fuck this cane. Wait, I think I win. Hang on. Can set 1v1 a cane? Oh, fuck, he can't. He can't. Dang it. Okay, but I think I can go 10. Uh. Okay. What are my options here? My options are roll for Annie 3, go 10. So let's ask ourselves very honestly. Does going 10 win? I don't think so. I think this guy just wins. His board's too good. Four trick shot's kind of nuts. A zero two can't keep up with that kind of damage. I think I just roll it down for Annie three. Yeah. 
Keep this Annie. Roll for Annie 3. Go 10, Lissandra. I promise you, going 10, Lissandra is not going to beat uh, Zaya 2. If you had Ash items, it was a first. Uh, no, if I had Ash items, it was an eighth because it was three-way contested. I've got 51 HP. Oh, really? You moved into my Lilia. Okay, I was ready to move back. Okay, I definitely expect to lose here. I'm gonna go for like the one in 10 chance of hitting like something crazy. Okay, yeah, this guy is way too strong. Wait. This has a very low chance of working. We are made by our choices. Where's the Annie? 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 Oh, I skipped one. Wait, maybe I can still hit. Annie. 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 No! Nice try, Annie. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was not a try for the Annie 3 there, because the game, game's like already over there. I only got to see two Annies. Well, I skipped one, and then I bought one. So it was actually not that close, but it's a fine second place. Yeah! Oh!